See that face? That face, that expression? It's a pretty good summary of how I'm feeling right now. I ordered plants from an Etsy seller on October 4th and they got it delivered today, January 12th when it's 18 degrees outside. No heat pack because I ordered them in October. This should be an interesting unboxing. I have a feeling there might be a bit of a rant at the end of this video. I did already pop it open. It's like I mentioned, it's 18 degrees outside. I wanted to open that box up and make sure that some warm air could get in there while I was setting all my lights up and everything to film. I, I don't know if what's in here is gonna look good. Hopefully it will. This got shipped out like right when a cold front was moving through the bulk of the United States, uh, at least, well, I would say not the bulk, like a good third. That's a, that's a significant number, but you know, one of those Florida growers that doesn't care about the weather. So here we are. You know, regardless of when this should have been delivered, it's here now. I'll talk about the backstory to the ordering and what's happened since October 4th at the end of the video for now. Let's just open it up and try to enjoy some plants. Something tells me it's not going to take that long for me to start to get kind of spicy and sarcastic with everything. What does this thing say? It's like this is their version of the invoice. Marble G, Thai Shiv, Zero Marmalade, 3V, Frydeck. Plus tech, I don't know what that says. I'm hoping Zero Marmalade doesn't mean that they zeroed out that part of the order and they didn't have it. If they did, I'm gonna have a lot to say about that. This is Tang. I don't, I don't know what Tang is. I don't remember ordering anything that would be labeled Tang but it's been such a long time since I placed this order. Oh, by the way, it's January 13th, not January 12th. Got that wrong. But there are a lot of, well, a few, I shouldn't say a lot. There are some sellers on Etsy who sell tropicals and house plants as plugs. The Green Escape is a great example. I've placed a few orders from them. They have a minimum where they want you to order two at a time. That way they're not just shipping one little plug. I understand those policies. Last year I placed an order and got some of these pink Birkins. This is one of those ones from last year and you can see this is ready for a repot. When I placed that order, this entire plant was about the size of this little offshoot. And here we are about a year later. You can see it's starting to put out its first variegated leaf, which is exciting. And no, it needs a repot. Outgrown its container, it's ready for a repot. One year later, it's looking great. Hopefully that's going to be the same with all of these. These are from the seller Sunshine Greens. They do a similar thing as the Green Escape where they have lots of little plugs and uh, you get just little tiny plants, philodendron tangerine. So now that I see it, I remember, yeah, I ordered that, philodendron tangerine. Uh, it's kind of like the marmalade, which they didn't send, or the Prince of Orange. It's one of those philodendrons where it has nice green foliage, pinkish red undersides, and the new leaf that it, it shoots out is more of a tangerine shade. That's the whole appeal there is you get a colorful leaf whenever they put out a new leaf. It's like it's rooted nicely into its peat plug. It's not just a little cutting, which is good. I mean, it's not anything to brag about either, but I've seen way worse. One of those fun variations off of a plant that's been around for a minute and one we're all aware of. One that we all know fairly well. This looks good. Nice looking variegation on there. This is the Philodendron Marble Galaxy. It's the sport of the pink princess. It's just supposed to have some more white in it. I believe that's the whole appeal, right? Yeah, Marble Galaxy. The Black Cherry, also a really popular one right now. I'm hoping this ends up being more colorful than the Pink Princess that I have right now because the Pink Princess I have right now is not, it, it's, I don't know, I don't like it. There's nothing special about it. It doesn't have good color. I just, I think I just have a bad one. All right, now there are only three plants left here. Let me look back at my order because I'm pretty sure I ordered way more than that. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are three plants missing. Potentially, unless some of these have more than one in them. That's possible. <laughs> okay. This is stupid. Should not have ordered it. It's a Shivriana ficus, you know, Elastica Shivriana. I have a few of these that I've purchased since then because I placed this order such a long time ago. And the ones I have are probably five times this size and they were like, seven bucks. I'm gonna say that was not worth it. That was $30. That little plug was $29.99. And again, I placed that order a while ago. And then of course, right after I placed the order, I started seeing them at all of the nurseries in four and six inch pots. They're big, nice looking plants, but hey, that's the way shopping goes sometimes. I'm not going to get upset about that. I had no way of knowing. All right, this is a Thai Constellation. 
I'll go ahead and say this is a good buy. $44.99, has pretty good variegation on it. The listing for this one said scratch and dent. So I was thinking that I was probably going to be getting maybe a larger cutting that didn't have great looking foliage and just needed some rehabilitation. But this looks like a plant that's perfectly fine. Absolutely nothing scratch and dent about this. Has a little bit of variegation on it. This is going to be a gift for someone. I already have my tie back there and that thing takes up so much space as it is. I definitely don't need another one, not unless it had some like outstanding variegation something on it that really drew me into it. Now this one is what I've been waiting for. It's what I'm most excited about. You see that V fry deck? That means variegated fry deck. I ordered three of these and I'm only see Okay, looks like there's just one in here. Looks good, but I ordered three and I ordered three of them in October. So now we've seen the plants. I have a lot to say about this plant order. Go ahead and get these little guys potted up here while I express some thoughts and opinions about Sunshine Greens on Etsy. I feel like pretty much anything I have to say here is going to be pretty self-explanatory, right? Order was placed October 4th and then got delivered basically in mid-January. When I placed the order, when I was working on the order, I should say, I did notice that when I went to check out, it had said that there was like a wait for certain plants. So delivery time was going to be like October 24th through November something. And I said, no, no, that's not going to work. So I went ahead and I cleared my card out and I searched more carefully or so I thought through everything I was ordering to make sure that it was an order I would be able to get in the mail in October. Because, well, I was basically placing the order for this channel because I like to review Etsy shops on here and just ordering plants in general. And it's a safer time of year to order plants also. So I did the thing, I checked out, and uh, then it said October 12th through October 24th. I checked back a while later, several days later, and it said delivery expected between I think, I think, we're going back a few months here, so take everything with a grain of salt here, but I believe what it said was to expect the order to be delivered by uh, December 23rd. So there was a big window there, right? Could be any time between, at that point, I think it was probably October 15th when I was looking at it, and then to December 23rd. December 23rd comes around, order, hasn't even shipped yet. And so I was debating, do I contact the seller? What do I do here? And I wanted to see just, well, what are they going to do? Because that's kind of the best way to really get an insight to people and companies is to just let them show you, let them show you themselves and how they do things. So I sat back and waited. That and it was the holidays. I was busy. So I figured, you know, I'm gonna give this a few more days maybe right after Christmas. They're probably really busy too, just like everybody else that time of year. Uh, maybe they'll ship them out right after that. December 28th rolls around. I get a notification saying, order shipped. I'm thinking, okay, great. Not the ideal time of year. There's no heat pack. They did have the option at the time I placed my order to put a heat pack in with your plants, but I didn't need one in October. And I thought the order would be delivered by like November at the very latest and still, probably not a time of year when I would need a heat pack. And you can see without the heat pack, everything worked out okay. Got really lucky there. Had this been delivered a day later, these would be toast. It's, what is it right now? It's negative four outside right now. And the high today is only three degrees. So yeah, they would have been completely fried and dead. Not only were the plants delivered months later than they were supposed to be, there's no heat pack because again, why would I put a heat pack in there? When they actually get shipped out, it's when there's this giant cold front moving through the entire country. There have been a lot of Etsy sellers in the past where I've read their descriptions for their shipping, and sometimes they can get pretty snarky with what they're saying when it comes to shipping plants. Not as much of a thing now as it was a few years ago, but there'd be a lot who would say, if you live up north and it's cold, then I basically don't order my plants until spring. I didn't offer heat packs, any of those things, and yet they're selling things as house plants. I'm like, you realize that while you might be in Miami, outside of Miami, the bulk of the rest of the country is experiencing cold. So that's gonna affect your business. Sunshine Greens, I didn't see anything like that on their website. That was just a little side quest of a rant that was probably unnecessary. It might seem like since the weather's nice where you are, you don't need to check the weather, but 
I would argue that if your business is selling plants and the majority of them are labeled as house plants and it's winter time, it's probably smart to check a general forecast for the rest of the country. It only takes a few seconds to do that. And that few seconds could save a lot of trouble, a lot of financial loss for people who are doing business with you. Okay, so there's the backstory. The plants themselves don't look bad. I didn't get what I wanted in my order. The whole reason I placed the order was because I wanted these variegated fried eggs. Only sent one. I completely underestimated the size of container I was going to need to give these plants a soak. I'm gonna pull this one out and swap that out with the fried egg. Chivrion is not as likely to need as much of a rehydration as the rest of the others. That plug was pretty wet. Of oh, the Monstera could say the same with. I just want to give them some time. Take in some water and let them chill for a bit. That need to settle the soil. Gotta get some water in there in order to get that done. I don't know about y'all, but I tend to be one of those people where when something goes wrong, I just, I just assume I did something wrong. I tend to almost gaslight myself. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. So when I saw that the order had been pushed back to being delivered in December, I just assumed, well, I must have accidentally put a plant in the cart that they didn't have available. But at the time when I was placing my order, I had gotten some fried eggs in the cart and uh, then saw that it wouldn't be shipped out until much later than I thought it would be. So I pushed those out of the cart and went back and found some others that they had listed that said they would be delivered by the end of the month. By, like I said, I think it was October 12th to October 24th or 29th, something like that. And since I was ordering those three fried eggs, I went ahead and I ordered some other things. Like I said, I had a friend who wanted a tie. Seemed like a good price, even though it said scratch and dent. By the way, apparently this Marble Galaxy said scratch and dent too but there's nothing scratch and dent about that. It's just a plug. So my experience when I was shopping the website was basically that everything I put in the cart, I needed to go and check how that was going to affect the shipping. That's annoying. That's not how I like to do my shopping. Uh, to correct that, I would say get your together with what you have in stock and what your inventory is. Don't sell things that you don't have in stock. When I look here at the Fry Deck and I go down to their reviews, their overall shop reviews, four and a half stars, that's not bad, but you don't have to scroll very far in here. One star, purchase a variegated Fry Deck on October 9th, 2023. It's now January 14th, still no plant. Marked it as ship, but never shipped with the rest of my order. I've messaged them several times and they kept saying that they haven't gotten the starter plants back from the nursery. Why are you selling something you don't have? I will not be buying anything from the shop ever again. I tried to work with you. I want my money back. Scammers. I have to agree. Why are you selling things you don't have? Especially if you go up here and look at their pictures, they have a beautiful video of a table just overflowing with plants, right? And then a picture of the table just overflowing with plants. I'm going to contact them to make sure that I have been refunded for the plants that they did not send. That's the only communication that I'll be having with them from this point forward. I will not be shopping with them again, because again, why are we selling things that we don't actually have? I understand doing pre-orders. That is something that needs to be put very clear in a description for something. Looking at this listing that's current for the Fry Deck, they took the time to put a spot on here where you have to acknowledge, you have to type yes or no, acknowledging that you have to order two plants or else they're not going to send it. A policy I completely understand because it seems like a waste of time and shipping to send out one little plant. Although, is it really when we're marking things up so insanely high? I don't know. That really depends on who you're ordering the plants from. The Green Escape, I get it from them. This $30? $30? This was $30. It's on me, stupid as a stupid does. I shouldn't have ordered that one. It was an impulse buy I shouldn't have put in the cart. I really just wanted three fried eggs. I do really like the fried egg that they sent. It has very nice variegation on it. You never know what you're going to get when it comes to the variegation on the fried eggs. And these are plants that offset like crazy. So by probably seven months from now, this will be quadruple the size, bigger than that. And it'll have lots of offshoots that I can take babies from. So, all right, I only got one, whatever. As long as I haven't been charged for those items. I don't understand what's going on with this invoice here either. It says zero marmalade. It says three variegated fried eggs. It says it right there, but there's only one on the, table. I only got one. I can double check the packaging. There's no, nope, there's nothing else. Nothing. No, this is all the packaging. There's no other plants in there. So that's what I'm concerned about is that it says that they gave me three 
when there's only one, because they took the time to write zero next to the marmalade, which they didn't send. So is this insinuating that they sent the three fried eggs and now they're going to try and make it seem like I'm trying to scam them? I don't know. See, these are things we shouldn't even have to be thinking about when placing a plant order. It's unprofessional. Don't sell sh you don't have. How about that? You'll get your orders out faster if you just go with what you actually have and put up pictures that are representative of what people are going to be getting. I'm not new here. I know what I'm getting when I see starter plant on a website. I know that it's going to be something in a plug. I get it. But some of their listings, like the one for the philodendron tangerine, there's no pictures of plugs. It's just a big, beautiful plant. In the description, it says that starter plant, all starter plants require two and all that stuff. They vary in size, variation in fullness. My opinion is that it would be nice if not just them, because a lot of sellers do this, include a picture of what a plug actually looks like. So people really have an idea of what they're getting and uh, make it clear that the main photo is just a representation of what the plant can or will be someday if the plant does well and keeps growing. I can only stipulate that because two of these plants were marked as scratch and dent and they look completely fine to me, that that more than likely means that there is an oopsie with going, uh-oh, <laughs> have orders to fulfill and don't actually have those plants. And if something says scratch and dent, then wouldn't that imply that it's something you already have physically, something that you are already looking at? You can say, oh, yeah, this one doesn't look that good, or I have a section of these over here that don't look that great. They could use some TLC. I'm going to send those out separately. But getting in these plants that appear to be completely fine, don't see anything wrong with them. That would lead me to assume that one of two things happened here. One, they sold the plants that I had ordered, to someone else, the scratch and dent ones, then had to replace them with ones that look totally fine. Or two, the order sat around for such a long time that the scratch and dent plants recovered and now look much better. I, I don't know. I suppose there's a third option, which is that a scratch and dent plant never even existed, and that was just thrown into the description to help them sell. I don't think that would help them sell, unless somewhere it's specified that you're getting a larger plant, but it could use some work. So I'm gonna say that one's pretty far-fetched, probably not the case doesn't matter. It's all stipulation. I'm not going to contact them about stuff like that outside of making sure I get my money back for the plants I did not receive. I don't want them to send out a separate order. Okay, not the most pleasant plant unboxing, but like I said, the plants I got look pretty cool. I'm happy with them. I think $44.99 for a tie that size, that's a fine price. I see them about that size, maybe a little bit bigger for like 75 to 100 bucks at local nurseries. Since this is a gift, I wasn't gonna, I wouldn't, I love my friends, but I wasn't gonna buy them a hundred dollar plant. $44.99, they will be very happy with that. I'm gonna let it root out for a few weeks and then they can have that one. Everything else in here, I'm looking forward to watching it grow. Like I said, that fry deck in the back, it's beautiful. It's going to offshoot in just a few months. It'll be looking great. And everything I received does look healthy. They were packaged fine. A heat pack would have been appreciated. And not the customer's fault if you wait three months to send something out. Didn't need a heat pack in October. A few seconds of looking at the forecast, it would have been a good idea because these would have been complete mush. Well, if one, really, if I hadn't gotten them off the front porch, I have a security system that alerted me that someone was on my front porch, so I know that these got delivered, so they only sat outside for a few minutes. It was 18 degrees outside. Just would have been a box full of goo, and I highly doubt I would have gotten my money back on that either because they offer a heat pack I didn't buy it. Because again, I ordered these October 4th. <sighs> okay, yeah, big thumbs down for that seller. Would not recommend Sunshine Greens on Etsy based off of my experiences. Y'all do you. You need to save some money and they have something that's a good deal. Buyer beware for me. Nope, hard pass. Hey, it's coming down below. Say hi, I love talking to everybody. <laughs> if you ordered from this seller before, they are all over Etsy. Like the majority of plants I search for, they show up in the listings fairly high. I don't know. I'm struggling to figure out how they have such high ratings on Etsy based off of this order. Maybe something went down between when I placed my order and now. Maybe they used to be great and they've been going through some stuff. Just benefit of the doubt there. Who knows? This is all I have to base anything off of. So yeah, not, not going to be doing business with them again. Anyways, as always, and most importantly, everybody. Hold on, can't just end it like that. Figure y'all might want some closure. I messaged them, said, hello, want to make sure I'm being refunded for the orange marmalade philodendron and two very good Fridays because I didn't receive this order. They responded right away, like 
uh, felt like almost immediately said, hi there, I'm sorry you didn't receive all of your starters. You should have. Uh, would you mind sending me a picture of what you received? So I sent a picture. They replied saying that Orange Marmalade is actually the starter with is below the fry deck. It looks like you are missing two fry deck and the tangerine. I can go ahead and refund them for you or I can replace them with other starters. I'm currently back ordered on the fry deck. Is there other plants that you would like for me to ship which equal the same value of the starters missing? I can absolutely do that for you. And I was like, no, that's good to know, but uh, thanks for telling me so I can put a label on it. Won't forget, refunding's best option, whether here's turned, not gonna be nice coming for several weeks. I said, I can go ahead and do that for you, no problem at all. I said, thanks. Within like, I don't know, an hour, I had my refund. So the communication, pretty clean, cut and dry. Uh, some of the better and faster communication I've had on Etsy and as far as getting refunds done. So there's that. Uh, it's, 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 I don't know. And then it, wait, the second, the kitten, she was right there. There was just a kitten over there. I wanted to go back to something I'd mentioned before that I forgot to basically finish talking about when I mentioned pre-ordering. So I understand websites doing pre-orders. They do pre-orders. That was one of the reasons I knew to move things out of my cart and go back and put different things in my cart because they were labeled as pre-ordered. So I went back and picked up things that I thought didn't say pre-order on them. I don't know. Something got mixed up somewhere. They said be here by the 23rd. Clearly that wasn't the case is what it is. They look fine. I'm happy with what I got. The end of that story. Keep on growing. Bye bye.